Okay, so here we have a main combi 25 Eco. Uh, customers complain of no hot water upstairs in the bathroom. Uh, we've got the hot tap, well, two hot taps running upstairs. The boiler is running as hard as it can, which I've proved. I've gas rated the boiler and it's at 26 kilowatts on the 25 kilowatt boiler. I've isolated the flow so I know that none of that heat is going into the heating system. Um, so we'll go upstairs now and look at the hot water. So this is the hot water in the bath. It is for a thermostat and it's tepid and that thermostat is all the way on high. Now to prove it's not that thermostat there, really easy way to do that i've got a hot tap open here as well so now this hot tap was red hot which is in this tap the same temperature as over there if this hot tap was red hot and it was coming out of there tepid you know it's the thermostat on the wall um, so let me run through what so we have a boiler it's a 25 kilowatt boiler it's running at 26 kilowatt 26.6 net um, and if you look on the data badge, that's fine. That's what it's meant to be at. Um, so it's running at full power. None of the heat is going into the heating system. Right, so I've isolated the flow. So all of the power of that boiler is going into the hot water and the hot water is tepid. There's only one reason that hot water can be tepid. And that is simply, it's running through the boiler too fast. So I'm gonna set the boiler up to how it was from the factory with the litres per minute it was meant to have and I'm going to recheck the water at these taps. Um, now I would say that's less than 40 degrees, probably about 30 degrees, 35 maybe. It's, not, it's nowhere near good enough to have a shower. So like I say, reset the flow rate through the boiler. Okay, so the boiler is uh, running at 26.6 kilowatts. Twenty six point nine kilowatt. It's running hard, there's no way any of this heat's going down the heating because it's still isolated here. And so we're now doing a differential temperature. So we've got one clamp on the cold main and one clamp on the hot outlet. And this is what we've got. Cold main is coming in at 7.2. It's leaving at 31.8, I told you it's about 30 degrees. Um, and the Delta T, look, is only 24.9. So the, the, it's, the boiler's only rising the temperature, uh, it's only raising the temperature by look, 25 degrees, okay, which is uh, not good enough. So this boiler will be designed, let me say here, look, it says specific flow rate, 11.9 liters a minute. That will be with a 35 degree temperature rise. Um, so that'll be a full 10 degrees higher than what it's providing now. So the only way this boiler isn't providing that is because the water's running through it too fast. That's it, it's as simple as that. So if we can reduce down the flow rate of the boiler to nearer that 11.9 liters per minute, we should see that delta T, which is that number there, that should go up to 35 degrees. If, that, if we get that to 35, um, then the boiler is operating as it should. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to adjust down the flow rate to get that correct. So I've just tweaked that. I'm 28 now. I'll show you how I'm doing it. Let me bring this turn on this side. I come here. I'm simply doing it on the valve here. As I tweak this valve, to slow it down slightly, you see that delta T is going up, and now at 30, 30.1, and that should be a 35 degree temperature rise at 11.9 litres a minute. So if I get a 35 degree temperature rise on that, I know I should have a uh, 
11.9 litres a minute. That's optimal, brand new out of the box boiler, that's how it should operate. So the temperature at the tap's now gone up to 42 degrees. 34.6, 34.7. Okay, so we've got 35 degree temperature rise. Let's go up and see how this is performing. Obviously, this is on max, so obviously. Okay, I'm upstairs now. That's hot water, that's hot, Pro like properly hot, yeah. The bath is hopefully, oh it's still not as hot, but remember it is going through a thermostat. So that thermostat has to blend some cold to it, so it'll never be as good as this. But if we turn this off, if we turn this off and get the full hot potential going to this, we may get hot water. Not definitely, because it's still going through a thermostat. Which you, now remember, you have no control over this. So if I've got this tap here red hot, but this was still tepid, you know it's that. It's much improved. That's having the cold, you know it's freezing cold. Now, now, the thermostat is blending it to a temperature here that isn't really very good. So this now, this situation here could be resolved probably by taking that handle off, moving it around and putting it back on because we know we've got the flow right now. We know we've got the right temperature going in. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off and hopefully adjust that for this customer, get it all working. Um, and that'll be it. I've proved the boiler's working, proved it's... I'm going to do, obviously, my flue gas analysis and all that on it. Um, I'm going to give this boiler a service. That's I've got to do that while I'm here. Um, and hopefully I'll get this thermostat all fixed and the hot water all resolved. All to do with flow rate. I'm going to check the flow rate in the set. Okay, back again. So I've adjusted in... It's not great, but I've adjusted in a little bit more movement of this. So I'll give this a few minutes. Um, now with a combi, you have to remember you always get a glug of hot water within the boiler and then it cools off and then it goes hot again. So on any combi, when you run that hot tap, if it's got preheat or not, there's usually a little bit of hot water in that boiler and then the boiler plays catch up. So you always get that once where it cools down before it comes back hot. And once it comes back hot the second time, it should be consistent, unless something like this is causing the problem. So we'll see, I'll give this a minute or so and then I'll come back to it. Right, it's now done. This is now a maximum when it's pointing down and uh, the water's much hotter. I could probably do it a little bit more and in fact I might just do that, just tweak it a little bit more for the customer. Um, but it's, it's nearly there, it really is. Okay, quite simply, this is how you adjust these things. We've got the thing running full bore. It's, it's hot, it's much hotter than it was, but I need that little bit more adjustment. So. This handle's at the stop for as hot as it can be. You we'll simply take this off. Turn it back a little bit, take it off easier. Simply take it off. Turn the orientation ever so slightly. Put it back on. And now that gives us a little bit more. Which means, changes the temperature here. That's now very hot. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust this until I'm happy with the maximum temperature coming out here, like, wow, that's hot enough, no one would want it any hotter. Um, and then I'll tweak it back just a touch and turn it on there. This is an old shower thermostat, it doesn't have any of them, them buttons on it to limit it to 
37 degrees or any of that, so got to be careful with this because obviously there are kids here, we've got to make sure this doesn't end up too hot. And that's just perfect where it is there, so I'm going to make that the, the maximum. And that's perfect. Oh, and that's perfect. Now it doesn't move. That's plenty hot enough. We can adjust it back and change the temperature to a more usable temperature, yep. So I'll put the cover back on this and it's all done for the lady. So I've just got to simply put the screw back in, put this handle back on and it's all done. Right, I'm going to set this flow right now. Now the reason I'm doing it up here on the bathroom tap, which isn't where you'd usually do it, is because the kitchen tap is a high pressure aerated tap. So it has um, very small, thin, flexible tap connectors going into it. So they reduce flow. So I wouldn't be setting it correctly doing it off that. So I'm going to set it here. And 11 point, 11 point nine liters per minute. So we're losing a little bit of heat for that diver out Okay, so the uh, final result of this job uh, was the flow restrictor within this boiler had failed. So it allowed more mains water through the boiler than it should have, uh, which is why the temperature was decreased. Um, that happens to Worcesters quite a lot because it fails behind the uh, domestic hot water flow sensor. You know, the I can't remember what it's called now, that little plastic piece that holds it fails um, so Worcesters get high flow rate and low hot water performance um, so that was one fault the thermostat in the shower upstairs which was the shower bath mixer needed adjustment uh, and the diverter valve in the boiler was letting by uh, just a little bit and if you look in that last picture we lost about three degrees of hot water temperature through let by uh, which is pretty minor and the customer didn't want to do anything about it. So oil is all fixed and the customer's happy.